everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. I wonder if I need to switch this camera. It's not actually sitting up there right. Hold on, y'all. Because <laughs> when I set you up here, yeah, there we go. There we go. I just want to make sure y'all don't fall. But how y'all doing? Hey, who's I haven't done a video in um, some days here? Last video I posted was, was it Sunday? Saturday. Mm, I don't remember. Anyway, today is the day after my grandmother's memorial. We had a, um, my grandmother's from Arkansas, and so she's going to be uh, funeralized and buried in her hometown. <clears throat> uh, service going to be at the church that she grew up in and everything, but, um, we wanted to have a service here in Minnesota. And we didn't have like a service service. It was more like a a wake and memorial. And then my parents' pastor came and he um he spoke. Um yeah, he spoke just a you know a few words of encouragement, which was really nice. Um so we were happy to uh I'm waiting for this guy to get out my way so I can drive down the street. You know, some people just kind of ignorant in the mornings. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, y'all. You know, I have a little pet peeve sometimes. Anyway, so he came, he spoke, he did words of encouragement. But we didn't have, like, a choir or a soloist. We did have music playing, um, which was really nice because they played gospel music you know there is a difference between gospel music and christian music and so um the music music that they played was music that we are accustomed to that you know my mom and dad can sit and wave their hands and everything else so that was really nice um so now <clears throat> that piece is over actually i'm trying to think it was supposed to be from four to seven well me being who i am <laughs> I was there at 2.30 because I wanted to make sure that she was presentable for my dad. I wanted to make sure they presented her correctly. Um, and so I went and spent a lot of time with her. And, uh, you know, that'd be that. Met family I hadn't met before. <laughs> it's a shame that in this society we have family members that we don't even know. Or we live in the same state. We may cross their paths and don't even know they are relatives. I met a cousin last night who I have not seen since I probably was an itty bitty bitty girl. And um, yeah. So and she was taking it really hard because she's like, gosh, I wish I would have, you know, been able to grow up around her. And I mean, you know, you know, families have those different dynamics and things. So it was nice to see her. I'm hoping that we can, you know, do something, you know, family related where everybody can kind of get together because she needs to know, you know, I mean, I grew up with my grandmother ever since, you know, my dad was in my life. I want to say before I was even his daughter, when I was his, just his godchild, you know, my grandmother was in my life. So it was like, you know, that's all I know, um, you know, and I'm not sad that she's gone because 96 years she lived a long life and just like the pastor said you know she was tired so you know hey uh, but I'm grateful to have had her in my life I'm grateful to have um, learned one of her recipes because y'all know I like to cook and bake um, I'm grateful that my kids and my grandson got to be a part of her life so, you know, I mean, that lineage is just, it's strong. <sighs> so, I, you know, I mean, I cried last week. And I mean, I cried yesterday too, don't get me wrong. But um, it wasn't that, like, ugly cry, you know what I mean? It was just like, just a little bit of sadness, you know. Um, we have one elder left living. And um, he was able to come and pay his respects and it was only about you know 10 minutes but it was enough you know what I'm saying so and I'm grateful for that and uh yeah and he actually he's my dad's uncle and he's actually who 
told my dad about Minnesota and the county of Minnesota, you know, so it was bittersweet to see him and, you know, him and my dad favor a lot. So I broke down heavily because I was just like, oh my goodness, I had to walk out, you know, but other than that, it was, it was all good, you know, so <laughs> my dad working now, he just keeping busy, y'all, he just keeping busy, so so if anybody's wondering, you know, how's your dad doing? He's doing, he's doing all right. He's keeping busy and um, he's laughing a lot. Not laughing at the situation, but you know, he's just staying healthy with his laughter. And that's one thing I love about my dad. When something is funny to him, he will laugh and it's just, it's just so good. So as y'all can see, it didn't take me long to get here because me and mama, we live three minutes apart. <laughs> so yeah, barely five minutes. I had to wait for the light, but um, I'm going to put a pen in here and then I'll be back guys. Hey y'all, I'm back. In the same spot I was when I stopped the camera. But it is several hours later. Lord have mercy. I have been with my parents all day. I love my mom and daddy. <laughs> I, um, been with them all day. Oh, look at the little precious baby. She's so cute. Um, oh, wait, here come a group of children. Anyway, so... I had to take mama to the doctor this morning. So I took her to the doctor. Then we went to Peanuts um, School for uh, her performance that she had to do with her class. And we also went to her last chapel of the school year. So that was nice. And then, let's try and make sure no car is coming. Yep, I knew it. Um, then after that, we had to run some other errands. And, um, then we picked up my dad. We went and uh, picked up the programs and the obituary for the funeral. Um, because I don't know if I told you guys. I probably didn't. But anyway, uh, my grandma was from Arkansas. And so her funeral is going to be in Arkansas next week after Memorial Day. It's going to be that Wednesday. But we had a memorial service here in Minnesota. Uh, for the Minnesota family, you know, um, she was a member of two different churches while she was here and, you know, so, and then of course my mom and dad, they're at a different church now. So, you know, church families want to come and pay their respects. And plus she had some family that lived here, my dad and, um, seriously. Lord have mercy. Anyway, so my dad and his baby brother and, well, actually both his baby brothers live here, but um, only one was able to make it. And then, you know, she has grandchildren here, you know, including myself, and grandchildren, great-grands. Um, and then, you know, other friends and people who knew her from her nursing home, her senior citizen home, and uh, just from when she was you know, first moving up here and stuff. So, uh, so we wanted to do something here for her, which I thought that was, that was good, you know, that my dad did that. And so now, um, mom and dad, they fly out tomorrow, which is Friday. And also my grandma is being flown out tomorrow and, uh, they're going to have her service next Wednesday. So, you know, bittersweet because, majority of the family lives in Arkansas so it's just you know and then my dad's oldest brother because four boys so my dad's the second oldest and so the firstborn is down in Texas who will be coming to the service and everything so um so everything like I said just turned out great I'm so happy so grateful um the lady at my mom and dad's church, I think it's the church secretary, she did the programs and they are beautiful. So, um, and I was happy that she did that. We had like the smaller programs here, you know, uh, but the ones for the funeral, um, they had done here that are gonna take there. So, all is well. So like I said, anyway, went and spent time with Miss Peanut, which, you know, sometimes kids get anxiety about stuff, and Miss Pina really had some anxiety about this performance that she had to do. It was in front of her entire class, 
with just her teacher. Her teacher was playing the piano and she was playing the trombone. And um, she had to do this piece that she has been practicing all school year. And uh, that's part of the grade. So <clears throat> she did that today. I mean, she started having anxiety so bad, you guys. I was like, I mean, when she told me about the anxiety last Friday, I was just like, mm. And then I told my mom about it. My mom was like, you know, she said, I'm going to go with you. I was like, okay. And so we were sitting there waiting for, well, class was getting started. And she was sitting there and she was just like, like panting, like hyperventilating. I'm like, what in the world? And I said, mom, look at Peanut. And she was like, tell her to come here. <laughs> if you don't have a praying grandmother anymore, but you had one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Because now I can I can clearly say all of my grandmothers are passed on and gone away. So if you still have a grandmother, huh, cherish them. Because mama said, tell her to come here. And so we went out and I said, you want to pray? And she was like, yes. And we grabbed hands. And I, now I told y'all about my mama now. Mama can pray paint off the wall. She can make the, <laughs> the crooked line straight when she pray. Baby, mama got to praying. Peanut got to crying, and I was like, oh my goodness, my baby's crying. I'm like, Lord, and she sucked it up, and she said, you're going to be all right. You know, we here, God got you, and Peanut went up in there, y'all. When I tell you she played that, that music, it was all good, and the teacher was looking like, like, you know, like we did something special. It wasn't nothing that we did, child. That wasn't nothing but the Lord, and Mama's prayers, so... Appreciate that love because who we Jesus, I was worried. Oh, but I just put up to the store. I'm getting ready to go and get some groceries. Well, not a whole lot of groceries, just a couple, two, three things. Um, Miss Peanut's on her way home from school. So I want to pick this stuff up real quick before um she gets home. And uh yeah, so <laughs> y'all know I don't like parking next to folks. <laughs> And this ain't nothing about, you know, glorifying no vehicle. It's like, some people just don't know how to drive. Speaking of which, we went to lunch. This is after we picked up the programs. And uh, mom and dad, they want Chinese food. So we went all the way out to this Chinese place. And I go to pull in, right? Why the person wasn't looking? Swung their door out and came within inches of hitting my mama's door on my, on my vehicle. I must have gave that chick a look. She was so scared. She was like, y'all go ahead. I, I, I got to take a minute to get out. I said, mm-hmm. Child, I don't play that stuff. I, hmm, I'll be watching people. And you know me. I'll get. I'll turn my car on and move in a minute. Which I'm trying to figure out why is this, this lady still sitting in this car. Now, she done pulled up. She done park. I done park. I've been sitting here talking. She's still sitting over here. Child, <laughs> don't, don't play. But anyways, just wanted to say once again, thank y'all to um, everyone who offered their prayers, their condolences, their well wishes, any negative thoughts and comments. You know, we were kind of that. So I just thank y'all. Y'all see my little makeup on? I got my little eyelash. Not eyelashes. My uh, eyeshadow on child. I thought it was cute. Today and yesterday. And you know, I got on my, my good wig. <laughs> they got that good wig on, child. Got these glasses up there trying to hold that wig down. Because you know, sister was trying to slide back on me. I said, oh, no, no, no. Honey, you need to sit forward. Anyway, my sisters who wear these wigs, y'all know. If them wigs ain't got them good combs or them good clips, child. Don't don't you get it doing too much. It slide back on you. <laughs> I had to give y'all a laugh. Hooey. My sister, my big sister is in, she's on her way to Greece. When I got a message from her yesterday, she was in Italy. Yes, because she's, she's in Rome right now because she sent me a video, y'all, of the Vatican. Oh, my goodness. She said it was such a spiritual awakening. She just, you know, she just cried and she just prayed. That's a, a blessing. She had a friend whose birthday is, I don't know, one of these days, and she wanted to go overseas for her birthday and she bought my sister a ticket to go with her i need friends like that okay you, you want to go out the country buy my ticket <laughs> all right let me go because i know that peanut's on her way home talk to y'all later bye